to make a school project solar system, then just watch after this intro and you'll see. What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be building the solar system. So we're going to be doing the solar system. As you remember before we did the volcano video which is like 30k views which is like a year ago when Sky had a school project and this one we wanted to do the solar system. So she had a choice of doing the world or she had obviously the choice of doing the, the solar system, system which is what you've chose to do isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we want to take a bit of a twist on it and we know that obviously people out there do the ones that hang and you get the mobile ones and obviously you can get the ones off Amazon where they're already kind of pre-done and you put them together. But we wanted to do one a little bit different. So we've got a block of Oasis here. Uh, this costs 99p. What we'll do is we'll quickly run through the prices on how much things were and then obviously you guys can run out and go get them, pause this video if you want to make one for yourself and then obviously watch it back again. So if that's something you want to do, run along now and go get the bits. Right, so first of all, this is 99p or a pound, wasn't it, from, where did we get this from? The range, I think. Yeah. And then this was also from the range. This is like an acrylic set. This is kind of a bit fancy sort of for a project like this, but we want to use it for other projects that we're going to be doing. But you can pick these up quite cheap. These sets, you don't have to buy one that costs a tenner. You can get ones where you get like a few sets of colours and they cost probably like a fiver or something like that. So you don't have to go out and get that. But this was also from the range as well. We do have these colours here, which Sky is just showing. So these um, colours, uh, these are paintbrushes. Paintbrushes, <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> right. So these are the paintbrushes. So these are nine ninety nine, as opposed to these ones that are one ninety nine. So these are from uh, B and M, and these ones were from the range again. So these are the, you just get quite a lot of these ones, which is why we did them. So we could obviously do other projects, and we're going to be doing other stuff as well. So we. We went for these, but if you want something cheap, I would go for this set, which wasn't too expensive. So, like I say, one ninety nine from uh, B and M. And then we have so these. yeah, we have these skewers. So what these skewers are going to do is they're going to go into here, and then obviously we have these. Show these guys. So um, we have these balls, yeah, the and these balls. Sorry. How much were they? Two ninety nine, I think they were from yeah. uh, B and M. No, the range again, weren't they? So this is the range again. So this is from the range for two ninety nine. And these are like loads of different size balls, they're just polystyrene balls. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these sticks and then we're going to stab one of these balls. We're going to paint them with obviously the acrylics um, and then we're going to just obviously do them for the solar system. So we got this picture here, we just based this off Google, we just got that so we can see. We're going to do the sun, uh, then after we've done the sun we're going to do, um, what's this one here? Mercury. Mercury, then we're gonna do Venus. Venus, and then we're gonna do Earth. Planet Earth, which is where we live. We live on Planet Earth. <laughs> and then Mars. Mars. Is it that one or that one first? Um That Jupiter. one looks like Jupiter, yeah. And then Saturn. The Saturn, so we've got to do the ring. So we've got some cardboard to do the ring for Saturn, so we will do that and paint that up, so hopefully that will look cool. Then we've got Uranus. Uranus and, and then Neptune. Neptune. Right, so Guys, we're just going to prepare for everything we need and then we'll come back in a short moment, okay? So see you soon. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is take this out of the package and we're going to do a tiny bit of a Blue Peter thing here and do a here's one we did earlier. So the first thing we need to do, obviously we have started, is we need PVA glue. So we didn't mention that obviously the PVA glue is going to come into this because we were going to just paint this block but it turns out that we're going to need to sort of paper mache it first, don't we? So what we did is just put some of this PVA glue down first. Do you want to spread that in with the paintbrush, Sky? Yeah. And then Sky will just spread that about and I'll just put a little bit more on because it doesn't matter how much you have. And then once you've spread that about, we're just going to do a quick demo of this first. So that's it, nice. You just want to make sure you get it all over and there's no gaps missing. And then we're going to lay down the tissue here on top and then we're going to continue to paint on top of that, but with more PVA glue. So that's going to add a layered coat. And then once we've done that, it will just start to layer up. So we'll continue to get this, obviously, um, PVA'd up so that it is at a point where, obviously, it goes hard enough for us to paint on top of it. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of fast boarding now to show you it in the process. But as you know, just put PVA glue on. You use the paintbrush to paint it on. Keep putting layers of tissue on. And then that way, what will happen in the end 
is that this will just go rock solid and it'll be a nice base for us to uh, use for when we do our panels. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue with this and then we'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Okay guys, so we're now finishing off the block. We've still got to obviously let this thing dry. I will just quickly just recap how we PVA glue this. So obviously we pull the PVA glue on. Uh, we do use a hairdryer, which we've got here to sort of like speed up the process. We just pull off a few sheets. So definitely we'll just take a couple of sheets here. And as you can see here already, it's started to dry. So we just place that on there. This is probably going to be the final one. You just push that down with all the glue there. And then we've got our extra pair of hands, Immy, here, who's decided to help, which is good. And we just put it, obviously, all over. And then we just use the brushes to pat it all down. And then we're going to leave that to set. So once that's set, that should be good enough for us to paint. We were going to paint um, just on top of this, but it, the way it breaks up and crumbles is not very good. So we just PVA'd it, and then we're just obviously paper mache in it, so it gives us more of a solid block. Once that's dry, then we'll get on to painting that. That's going to be black, and then we're going to put some dots on there for, like, stars yeah, yeah. to show that, obviously, it's in space. And then, obviously, the planets are going to be protruding from them, so it's like the spaces around them. Okay? So we're going to continue to do this until we're finished. Okay guys, so now that this is all PVA glued up and you know, we've got this tissue all over it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that to dry. Once that's all dried off, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna paint it the colors that we need. But for now, we don't really need it at the moment, so we're gonna put it out of the way and we're gonna get on with the planets. Did you know, if that if it was Halloween, it looked like a mummy. It would, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so we're gonna put the paint in this um, paint thingy here. Like yeah, so basically we're gonna get these acrylic paints and then we're gonna choose the colors that we need for the worlds, uh, if we can get we it out. blue and green. We'll and green. white, and white for the clouds. And so we don't need... There's no clouds in space here. <laughs> no, I mean on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Why did clear. I say that? Because it just... It just so what we're going to do is obviously oh, what yeah. colours will we need? We need green. kind of like green. these brownie colours like for these other wells. So we just have a quick look on this. So we need green. And see so what colours we need. Oh, this one's actually called Blue Lake. This this one's Ooh, called... Blue Lake, nice. This one's it's a nice electric Right, so let's go blue. for the first one. We need the Where's sun. The so the lake? sun's going to be... Of course, yellow. Yellow. So let's put a yellow down it's first. It's it's let's put green for the earth. We'll do, blue. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do I'll yellow. I'll start some blue. And obviously we want some, I guess some orange, because the sun is orangey and yeah. red. Yeah, we need brown. I mean, orangey and yellow. There's a brown world, I can't remember what it's called, but there is a brown yeah, world. Yeah, Jupiter's like, the sun. Jupiter's like a mixture Yeah, of Mercury colors. is the next one, which is kind of like a... Jupiter's that, that like kind that colour. And it's like that, the, um... Saturn. Saturn is kind of like a peachy. Yeah, put that one down for Saturn. I this, brought... Look how cool that blue is! That blue is so cool. Yeah. This one Electric is blue. for. Oops. This one is for Mercury. In, I mean, in the camera, Venus is kind green of like an so orangey black. colour, so we can yeah. mix those two together. Earth is blue and green, so choose a nice green for that. And then obviously you do. There need... is a green in there. Yeah, so that. So Mars is very red, so we'll go for this burnt sienna colour. Burnt sienna, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, burnt sienna. It's kind of like a brown, to be fair. It, it's like yeah. burgundy brown. Yeah, kind of burgundy. Then we need like a light blue, but we can we can mix that with white, can't we? Yeah, and make so that a light blue. You need some white for the clouds. And then the other ones are really sort of vibrant blue there, so we can use that purpley colour. There's to a do darky that blue here, but we don't need. There's no blue. more like. So let's go with this one. That really vibrant colour will be good for Neptune. What about this dark one? Do we need that one? Because mm. Neptune is like whoa. Because Neptune That's is kind really of bright. dark, yeah. but it's. But it's blue, like electric. I don't know what. Um, I think that Saturn has a bit of white on it as well. Yeah, yeah. it does have a little bit of white, doesn't it? The white. And then okay, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly set up and get our planets ready, and then we're going to get ready to paint them, and then obviously we'll continue to paint them, and then we'll show you. So that's our palette that we've got. Uh, we're um, going to get some more paintbrushes dirty, and we then we'll proceed. Yeah, guys, you ready yeah. for this? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. 
So we've got our planets that we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to do the sun, uh, which is going to be the biggest one that we've decided. And you are doing... The earth. So you're doing earth. And Emmy, you're doing... The tiny little tiny Mercury. Mercury. So <laughs> Emmy's going to paint Mercury. Sky's going to paint earth. I'm going to paint the sun. So we're going to crack on and get these done. And then we're going to move on to the other planets. Yeah. But this is kind of how they're going to be displayed when we have our base ready, okay? So let's crack on, guys. Let's get these painted. So we have now painted the sun. Sky has all got preparation going for planet Earth. Amy, what one did you end up painting in the end? Uh, yeah, it was Mercury. I thought it was Venus at first because Venus is tiny. But, but we do. You did Mercury, yeah. Yeah. So Amy's done Mercury. Sky's about to do Mars, which is this little tiny. red one that she's doing. I'm going to do Neptune. Did you say? Yeah, Neptune. So it's I'm like... going to paint Neptune. So we're going. I'm going to crack on with that, and we're going to all crack on and get these painted. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. -bye. Okay, guys, so we have now done the sun. We have done Mars. Did I do Neptune? Yes. Neptune's done. We. Earth. I'm going to paint the greenery on Earth, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing now, Sky? I'm, I'm now doing Uranus. Uranus. And, Amy, what are you painting? Jupiter. Do you want to bring it into the camera just quickly, just so they can... I've done so the brown lower half lower of it. Yeah. And then it's going to be, like, light... Like really light and it's going to go like a darker but not too dark. Yeah, okay. So we're going to crack on and carry on painting until we've got all these done and then we'll, we'll see you guys in a sec. Bye-bye. Can I do, um, not Saturn, the one with the ring around it. Yeah, Saturn. Yeah, I want to do We both do Saturn. Yeah, we both do Saturn. Yeah, you do. Okay guys, as you can see right now, we have almost completed all the planets for this project and they are looking pretty damn cool. We will give you a close-up view of this once we're done. Are you happy with this guy? Do you think yeah, your class is going to be happy? It's awesome. Yeah. It's cool, so, isn't it? I finished so, Jupiter. So she's done Jupiter. So, um, yeah. We've got planet Earth, which is here, with the clouds on the top and it's the really Earth cool. at the bottom. We have the sun. The sun. That's there. We've got to wait for these to all dry off. Do you, want, do you remember what we've done? Yeah, we've done... Mars. Mars. The tiny one. <laughs> so um, we've done... This one is Neptune, I think. I think this one's Neptune. Yeah. That's the one with the ring around it, yeah? I've written that one if you want to Don't forget Tidy This One Mercury. Mercury. And I'm, I'm we... just using this as a guide because Emmy's going to be doing what one are you doing? Pluto. Saturn. Saturn. So Saturn has a ring round it. Pluto's not a planet. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. She's so moving. we're doing. She's doing Saturn. So basically, I'm going to draw a, a ring around this, and then so we'll obviously we've got the ring for Saturn there. So what one um, are you showing there, Sky? This one is Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah, I don't know. Jupiter. <laughs> and I'm now doing. Um, which one am I doing? Uranus. Uranus. And Emmy. Yeah. Is doing Saturn. 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 Okay, so we're going to crack on with those guys and then yep. we'll see you again in a minute, okay? Hey guys, and welcome back again. We are coming to the final furlong of this, um, what we call in this project, what we call in it? The solar system! The solar system! So we have now got the block, it isn't completely dry, but we want to show you what it's going to look like finished. So I'm going to attempt to start painting it all black. So obviously we have a nice base there, it is still a little bit wet. But we're going to fast forward this through and we're going to get this painted. And then once it's done, we're going to put all the planets in how they should be. The, yeah. the girls are going to name them for you and then we'll be complete. And hopefully we're going to have a good school project you know? for the school. You could put like little labels on it saying Saturn. We could, we could do that. We might do that in the end and we'll see what happens, shall we? Because we can fine. obviously do it so people know. Yeah? Yeah. Lovely. We'll see you guys very soon. Bye.
Okay guys, so we are at the end of the project. I don't know if you can see how cool this looks, but we have all the planets and then obviously in the line of how they go. So do you want to name these planets again? So we've got... Sun, Mercury, Mercury Venus, Earth, Earth, of course, <laughs> Mars, yeah. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Neptune. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen, guys. So we've done the base, we've done it all black, and we've obviously painted this Perspex thing that I had left over. You could just use a bit of wood or some cardboard or something just to stand it on so we can walk around with it and take it around. What they've done is they've done some little labels which we've got here, and we're going to stick those on the sticks. But before we do that, we're going to just going to paint the sticks black so it just looks like they're obviously floating There's... as opposed to being down like that. Um, are you okay with me? Yeah. If you want to do like stars, there's a tip. It, you, might, you might already know this, but you can use the end of the paintbrush yep. and it'll be easier. Have we got any white or we used all We've got white there. We will do, you wanna do, do you want to do a demo on a couple of dots on here? Yeah, so it's they can a see? bit. Um, we need a bit of white. Do you want some more white, mixed. yeah? We've got loads yeah, of white. Yeah. Put it like somewhere where it is. No, we'll no, put it in there. Clean it out. There you go. Let's so show a demo of your stars that we're going to do for them. And then we'll be okay, so doing that and then labelling it up. So I've got the. That's it. Got the end of it, and then yep. you would place it like that, and then it'll be stuck. Little dots. Do a couple on here, just so they can see on here. Perfect. So we're gonna crack on and do this, guys, and then we'll fast forward a little bit, and then hopefully we'll be almost done. So see you soon. Bye bye. Okay guys, so we are now finished with the solar system project. It's so big that we can't even see sky in it. It's crazy. <laughs> so we have, uh, we've added what, some labels to yeah. name obviously what the planets are, which is cool. So we've got the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, uh, Mars. Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, Rays. We don't really need to do them in order because we already know. Yeah, exactly. So there you are. So guys, if you want to do this project for yourself, please go ahead and uh, follow our instructions. We hope this video helped you. Yeah. And we're going to be uh, doing loads of more uh, cool videos on school projects, aren't we, guys? So yeah, yeah. We'll be doing that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please add a comment in the description below if you need any help with it. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. So we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.